first the news come alive at the T20 World Cup. How's the group feeling? Yeah, we're we're, great. we're looking forward to starting. Um, it's unfortunate we weren't able to play our first warm-up game, but we're looking forward to playing India on Tuesday and then getting the workout started against Thailand. Uh, that was against Australia. It would have been nice to get a chance to get a sort of maybe an early psychological blow against them. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. But obviously, obviously, Australia is in our group. Uh, we have some history, but it would have been good to play the number one team in the world for a warm-up game. Obviously, you spoke about that history. What is the relationship like between the two teams? <laughs> Since the last series, um, I've noticed a lot of the girls have actually built some sort of friendship or at least some sort of camaraderie. Um, but <laughs> they've beat us a few times. Um, obviously, they were hurting after we beat them in the final of the 2016 World Cup, and they came back and they defeated us in 2018. Um, we're not, we, do, we don't know if they're going to qualify or if we're going to qualify. We're taking it one stage at a time, and whoever we have to play in the semifinal or the final, we're ready for um, it would be huge. Um, Australia, number one team in the world, they have really great batters especially. Um, we've done well against them. Um, like I said, one step at a time. Obviously in terms of their pace bowling, they've got Taylor Vlaming who's come in and your special, specialist subject is extreme pace and, and pace <laughs> bowling, so, so what do you make of her? Yeah, she's a really great bowler, uh, very young but she's impressed, she's really impressed um, in the last couple of months. Um, she was really impressive in the Tri-Series the other day, um, but <laughs> we will figure out a way to play her. <laughs> Moving away from Australia, what's the minimum <laughs> expectation of West Indies at this time? Yeah, obviously we're expected to get a hold of the group stages. We've made it to quite a few semi-finals. Um, so we're just looking to get all these group stages first and then cross the hurdle when we get to it. It's an interesting blend in the pace group, isn't it? With Lane as well coming in as a new face and obviously lots of experience in there. How's the, the pace, pace attack shaping up? Yeah, we have five pace bowlers on this trip, um, but we also have a quality spin bowling at the top. We have very experienced spin bowlers and we have two of which have played big bash for the last couple of years. So they will know the conditions well. Uh, we also have Afi Fletcher, Fletcher who's very experienced, um, probably one of the best leg spinners in the world. And hopefully they can back up the pacers. Uh, you were also coming into the Indian series after an injury. Can you tell us what the injury was and what, how long the rehab process took? Yeah, um, so I'd been struggling with my knee for a number of years. Um, in 2017, I had a knee surgery. Uh, I tore my meniscus and I also messed up my ACL. I was out for a couple of months, but then I came back into the game and got through the 2018 World Cup pretty well. Um, but then it flared up again when we got to England in last year. Yeah, I, well, yeah, last year. Um, so in the last 10 months, I've only played two international games, um, but it feels really good to be back. Feeling undercooked at all coming into this tournament? Um, not really, about my experience. I've been around the game for a long time and I'm just trusting the process. Uh, Jamie Van Rodriguez recently shared a post on social media about uh, something that I think she had posted 10 years ago. <laughs> she had come to watch, I think, that same series that we were talking about earlier. Uh, when you saw that, what do you think? Yeah, uh, it, honestly, I, I just felt really great to have inspired someone. Um, and uh, Jemima has come, she, she, she's impressed a lot. Um, sh she's a really good cricketer. And it meant a lot to see that this young girl that I met 10 years ago is on the world stage now and dominating. Does that happen a lot in the West Indies? Do you get a lot of stories considering you are, you, you are part of one of a batch which has come in maybe 10, almost 12 years ago. Do you get a lot of kids coming into the game West Indies, in the West Indies who have watched you guys play or started watching you guys play? Yeah, um, I think we're seeing it more now. I've met a couple youngsters that I probably would have they, they would have seen me play back in, like you say, back in 2010. We played in the Caribbean in 2010. And some of the girls who watched us are actually playing with us now. And it's commendable. It, it's, I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Can you tell us who? Um, so a few are actually just playing regional cricket, but there's Kiana Joseph, who would have represented the West Indies at 2017 World Cup. And she would have watched us play that semi-final back in St. Lucia. Um, Aaliyah. Aaliyah was really young when we first started, so it's, it's good to be playing alongside Aaliyah. I think you're involved in coaching as well, are you? That's what somebody said 
So I guess you're directly inspiring people and directly <laughs> giving back to cricket. Kind of it. Yeah, um, my main goal is always to inspire um, and to help however I can. So whenever I go back home, I try to help out, even with Aaliyah. I, I try to help out Aaliyah and the other youngsters back home in Barbados whenever I get a chance. So even then, is that sort of technical stuff or is that just sort of a bit of wisdom from, from outside? Uh, a bit of both. Um, they train with me. I, if someone needs me to throw balls for them, I get the arm. I do it. I actually still help out when we're training here also. I think also I saw you play a lot of cricket and football against boys in your neighbourhood. <laughs> you said you've got a unique respect for people who've done that as well as yourself. Why is that? Um, it's, it's always a challenge playing against boys. Um, Obviously, you want to impress, you, um, you want to be as good as the boys. But I think it's always a unique challenge when you're playing against boys. I think Aaliyah would have done it against the boys when she played football. I think Steph would have done it against Cricket and Haley. And I think that has, you can see how good they are from playing against the boys.